guys welcome back this is Joel and in this video we'll be actually looking into uh, a dynamic hooking of uh, Android apps right um, in simple terms we are going to have a app running and then we are going to inject a code while the app is running to change how it behaves right so we have done a bit of this in uh, case of my uh, bypassing SSL pinning right in the earlier videos uh, but we will uh, see another interesting use case of uh, dynamic hooking and try to understand as well right so for this example for this uh, you know exercise we're going to use a vulnerable app uh, probably let's go and see which one we are going to use right so we're going to use uh, the app called uh, uh, we're going to use this hacking android vulnerable app one um, i believe it's not an install so let's install it directly from the android studio right so i think i have the uh, android studio on my uh, santoku vm so i have to just need to go and turn on my android studio let's give it a minute for it to come up So this is basically my app. Uh, I already have the project open, so it's basically opening directly into that. Right, great. So this is basically my app and uh, let me run this app to start with. Let me run this app. It's trying to figure out if there is a PDB. Let's try to see if no connected devices okay give it a minute I'm not sure if the device is connected so let me see adb devices oh the device is not connected let me connect it adb connect 192.168.56.101 right now the device is connected so now when I run this the device is seen here so let me run this so it's running and uh, when it runs you know the app should come up over here on my device Great, so uh, um, we have the app running here, right? Now, let me show you what this app does. When I click on the crack me button, it basically tells me can't crack it, right? So this is what is shown. But now, um, how about um, we use, you know, dynamic hooking to change the functionality of this app, which means when I hit the crack me, it should not show can't crack it it should basically tell the app is cracked right so that's the whole point of dynamic hooking so if you look at the source code of this app you can see that um, this is what is getting printed right can't crack it the reason is because this else is being executed and this if part of the you know check is never getting executed so our whole intention is to do this right great so now this decision making happens based on the value of success and success is again depending on the output of the function outside output right and uh, the value uh, of i mean the va parameter i is sent to the function set output over here and this is what is getting returned right so the whole idea is we need to make the output of the set out the return the return value of the set output function to be true always right only when that happens uh, you know we will we will be able to uh, crack this particular app right so that's the whole point so we are going to do this uh, obviously there is one way of editing the source code here 
compiling it again, signing it again, installing it and that would change the functionality. The other way would be to use dynamic instrumentation. Right. So how do we do this? Let's first um, go and turn on my Frida, right, uh, which we have done before as well. So let's go to, let's first turn on my Python, which should be there in Santoku, right. So you have to source this, right. Uh, so let's source that. Give me one second. Yeah, so for sourcing it, we'll have to, um, this is going to be the virtual Python 3, bin, and activate, right? So I've enabled Python. Now let's go to my desktop. I think it's here, so let's go to desktop. Let's go to the folder Frida, and you can see, uh, there is a Python file called .py, right? So let me clear the screen a bit. So if I open the Python file over here, let me open it here. I think it's better to open it here. If I go to desktop, so I've created this Python dot the hook hook.py file, right? So what this file does is, right? It it basically has the Frida core, you know, which basically tells the which basically tells Frida to go to this particular java file the main activity dot java right the one which i already showed you over here so this is the file it basically tells you know when 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 the app is running go down to this particular activity and you know uh, return the value as true for set output function right so that is what we wanted right so we wanted the set output function to always return true so that you know this part of the condition gets executed and the app basically shows as being cracked. So now we are trying to do that using the Python file which I showed you, right? So the only thing which we'll have to do here is, I mean, let's check if Frida is running, right? So you know how to check Frida is running. Okay, so I think Frida is not at running. So I'll have to turn on Frida. Uh, which means uh, I have to turn on this. Give me one sec. Yeah, so let's going to be ADB shell, right? So uh, where is my Frida server on the device? It's a data folder and uh, local, if I'm not wrong. I think it's in temp. And uh, then we have Frida dash server. Okay, so now Frida should be running. Frida dash ps dash u. Yeah, now Frida is running. Great. So now that Frida is running, the only thing which we'll have to do is we'll have to run the hook file which I created, right? This is the hook dot uh, py file which I created, which basically hooks onto the app when it is running and changes the functionality of the app. So it's going to be this, right? There you go. So the hook file is running which means now when I go and click the crack me you can see the app is cracked and you can see uh, uh, text also displayed over here right if I click once again yeah you can see and it's getting locked here right so what did we do let me refresh um, what did we do was we have this particular app which is running and uh, you know we basically changed the functionality of the app you know during runtime how did we do it by hooking a piece of code which we wrote, right, and uh, using the Frida instrumentation, which I have showed you earlier in in the earlier videos as well, while bypassing SSL pinning, we are using the Frida, uh, um, you know, dynamic instrumentation framework to hook the malicious code. In this case, this is the malicious code, which is basically telling that um, go down to this particular activity and change the return value of the set output function, right? And when we do that this particular if statement gets executed as a result the app appears cracked and that is why whenever we click on crack me you can see the app is being cracked now right so that was basically an interesting way of uh, uh, you know hooking into an application this was a very simple example but you can similarly hook into different sections and different 
uh, you know, doing the different execution times of the app, right? Thank you for watching.